Okay, hey everybody, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a collage using Photoshop. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You can do it all versions of Photoshop. And what you need to do is get a picture of you or anyone you want. And you're going to need a background. So I recommend going to Google and just typing in cool backgrounds or just backgrounds. And just put in how big you want it and all that good stuff. So then let's open up Photoshop. Here's the image I chose of some model I randomly got from Google, and I got a background. So what you want to do is go up to the image you're going to edit and duplicate the layer. So you should have background or whatever you named it and the copy. So let's just a zero yeah. So then what you want to do is drag in your background to the image. There you go. So it's, if it doesn't go in the middle, in between the copy and the real version, put it in the middle. Just drag it in the middle. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the rectangle tool and put a rectangle wherever you want. If it's a person, I recommend going to the face first. So I'm just going to put in a rectangle. Uh, let's say that big. So, again, if it's the shape one is not under the background copy or the copy, put it under. So then click on the copy, hit control, we'll hold it, control, alt, G. Now it should be a rectangle like that. And now hold control and click on this little box right here. This will make a, so select it. And what you want to do is go to select, transform selection. Now we're going to want to make like a photograph, sort of. So let's make that like that. Okay, so try to make it not that big it doesn't need to come up perfect but it needs to come up pretty good so once you do that click on what you need to do is, uh, let me just uh, take off the transformation now click on this little thing to make a new layer and again put it under the background copy and under the shape now what you want to do is you want to go to edit fill or just hit control or shift F now the contents use white mode normal opacity 100 to uncheck that if it's already checked so it's like that it looks really good so just double click on layer 2 and just transform it how you want it so as you can tell I did a kind of like a really cool effect on it so hit control D to deselect. And what you want to do is hold control, click on these three main ones, the layer two, the shape, and the copy. S hit this little drop arrow sort of thing and go to new group from layers and name it. Just you don't even have to name it, I'm just gonna leave it group one. Just like that. So make a copy of that. So it's group one copy. Now, click on shape one copy, hold control, and click on layer two copy. Make sure it's on the select tool, and drag. As you can tell, it's going through the whole body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little cool effect by hitting the T for control for transformation. Sorry. I'm going to transform it, move it around, see what part I like. Oops. Okay, so I did a, like kind of a blended effect right there. So as many times as you want it to be. 
So as many pictures or photograph images you want. Keep doing the same process. Copy it. Click on the shape and the layer two. Just drag. So for this one, Control T. Hmm, this one's gonna be a little tough one. So you, yeah, you can extend the frames if you want. Uh, extend this one too a little bit. Even it out. Now there you go. You can overlap if you want. But yeah, that was how to do that. It's really simple. If you want, you could just uh, flip this around. Hit Control T. Whoops. I'm just gonna go back to this. Get these two. Control T. Flip it horizontally. Extend the frame a little bit. And yeah. Just get a little funky with it. Do it however you want. I'm um, just showing you the basic way to doing it. There you go. So that was my tutorial on how to make a really cool collage on Photoshop, all versions. I hope this really helps some of you people. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a happy holiday.